I use a Dell Precision T7500 workstation to edit all my videos here on Tech Harvest for this channel here. And it's a very powerful machine. The thing about that motherboard in that computer though is that it's a SATA 2 motherboard. So if you're familiar with the SATA protocols, you have SATA, SATA 2, SATA 3, and it's basically the speed of the data being communicated from your motherboard to your drives, whether it's an SSD, whether it's a hard drive, whether it's a, an optical drive, what have you. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to upgrade my SATA speeds from SATA 2, which is what the motherboard is limited to, to SATA 3. And this card here should do that. Now I do apologize, my cat is playing with one of their toys there. So as you can see here, it's IOCrest SATA 6G PCI Express card. Let's get this thing open here. Take a look inside. What we get, we get two SATA cords here. I don't really need these because I have quite a few of them, but it's always good to have them. These are actually pink. They're not red, they're pink. Both of these have a regular end and a 90 degree end on them. Now here you get a low profile bracket which I won't be using, but in case you have a uh, machine that's a slim machine and needs a low profile, you can use that. You can mount that on there. Again, I won't need it. Let's see what else is in the box here. We have some documentation here. We have a little driver disk. And I don't know if I'll need that, but it's good to have just in case. And then here is the card itself. Let's see if we can get into this bag without damaging anything. So it's a very small card, as you can see here. Just a regular PCI Express card. You'll notice here, this is where obviously it plugs into the motherboard, and then you'll notice it has four SATA ports on it. I'm only going to need three of those, maybe a fourth one. I might use them all, I don't know. But uh, as it stands right now, I think I'll only use three of them. So you can see that there. And on that side there. Now, of course, if you did need this low profile bracket, you'd remove the two screws here and then you'd screw it into this bracket here. So later this week, I'm going to install this into my Dell Precision T7500 and I hope you join me in that video. But that's going to do it for this one. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, share this video, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which would be greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.